Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co host, Brian. Got everybody. And Brett. What's up? Season 26 finale, The Bachelor, Joey's season, everybody. Uh, this is, like I said, the finale and the women tell all special full spoilers for this episode. The Bachelor, guys, like it just The Bachelor lies. The Bachelor just lies to you. It just constantly, constantly lies to you. I know this crap happens every year, but this one, for whatever reason, just feels like even more of a slap in the face as a viewer. Not talking about the result, not talking about who even, frankly, they chose as the next Bachelorette. We'll get into all of that, but that's not really like what my, my point is here. It's just like our intelligence as a viewer. They're telling us that this is going to be the most shocking, dramatic, can't believe what's going to happen finale. And they go through. And the worst thing that happens is that Daisy's like, I can tell you're not going to pick me, which he wasn't going to. And that's it. And he proposes and he's happy. And when Jesse, when it cuts back to Jesse, he goes, well, everything worked out. He actually said that. And I was just like, I'm enough enough with this show. And that's just like, honestly, all I can think about. Uh, Congratulations, Kelsey and Joey. They're still together. Seems cool. Whatever. Uh, Bri, then Brett, I want to get your thoughts. What's your main takeaway? Yeah, I mean, the superlative adjectives in the beginning of every episode or finale of this franchise the last few years is is just pathetic. Um, I think that they, I think the thing they were really trying to draw in there is like both of them were in the car at the end. And like, honestly, I really don't care. Um, I'm more, what I'm more pissed about is this is three hours long is what really I'm really pissed about because this could have been wrapped up in 30 minutes, in my opinion. Like we could have been in and out of here. Like you just did right there. Like we're done. I don't care about the dates. I don't care about the family. Like it, make it a year before I care about who you're with because your success rate sucks. I used to care about the family visits and all that stuff, but like now I don't even care. Um, I I think you mentioned, so like the key pivotal moment of the episode for me was the limo reveal. So that was more interesting than the actual dumping. Cause I think we already predicted that Daisy was going to dump him or just not get chosen. Um, I guess she kind of explains why she thought that and it makes sense. But um, I mean, we all saw it through the screen. So she had to have seen it in person. I'm, you know, I think the season ended up being terrible and boring just because the women at the end, most of them are very terrible and boring. I mean, even if Kelsey and Joey are great together, she wasn't really fun to watch. Daisy definitely wasn't fun to watch. I'm glad she's not the Bachelorette. And yeah. uh, the one they, the person they chose was a complete curveball for me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Jen. Uh, Jen, that's the kind of other main takeaway. Jen from this season, newest Bachelorette. Uh, congratulations. They pointed out that she's the first Asian American lead in a bachelor franchise. They, they check all the boxes on these shows. It's just, and and it's like, frankly, like, I think they, why don't they lead the fact that she's fun? Because then they did the whole shot o'clock thing. And like me and Brian were saying on a pre-show, like it's like our saving grace. Like maybe they're just going to be more loose on the next season. Like she will be a fun bachelorette. We haven't had a fun bachelorette in a while. We always have these bachelorettes that are supposed to be the first of their kind or stand for a virtue or something. And I would love to someone to just be fun. Like God forbid, just have a fun frigging lead for any of these franchises. Also how they, how they revealed her. I thought they, I, I, I thought Daisy was the bachelorette. They brought her back out. I thought they literally talked about the next Bachelorette and they brought her out. I was like, oh, so that's her. Then I was sitting there and I was looking at my phone. I was like, it's like 12 minutes. Like, what do we have 12 <laughs> minutes for? Are they doing bloopers for that or something? They did bloopers last. They're like, so the next Bachelorette. I was like, wait, no, you just did. Uh, uh, they they just they just <laughs> play with words on this show. Yes. I agree. I, I I thought Daisy was a bachelorette the whole time. The moment he said that and she came out, I was so disappointed. And then she started saying things about like, oh, I need to take time to heal and blah, blah. I'm like, why'd you just choose this girl to be the bachelorette if she's like needs to heal? Like, this isn't clicking. This doesn't make sense. Like, is she the bachelorette or did I get tricked? And then like later, once they say, oh, the bachelorette's coming. I'm like, ah, so she wasn't that whole 10 minutes that I thought she was. And then when they're like, oh, this girl's charity's like, this girl's witty and fun. I'm like, Maria, Maria, Maria. I thought Jen. it was Maria too. What? Jen. I laughed out loud, guys. I, I, I laughed. I loved it. I, I love when people are mad. And I knew that Brett would be mad. I knew I the was, internet would be mad. 
I loved every second of it. I don't like Maria. She stinks to me. So God, I'm happy. You're nuts. She. The thing that was so funny I'll is they nuts. tricked us again too because they they showed her. They kept teasing her throughout the episode with the cutaways, but she never spoke. And I'm like, she's a bachelorette, like right, like she hasn't said any. And they caught her. And they cut her off at the end because they were running out of time. So the, yeah, the thing is, is yeah, you go Brett first. I mean, yeah, yeah, I was just saying that, like, I thought it was either, you know, Maria or Daisy at this point. And then um, once it wasn't Daisy, I was like, oh, it's definitely Maria. And then it wasn't even her. And then the fact that it was like, why Jen? Like, she's because she's checking the Asian box. You had like the Hawaiian girl. Why not her? Like, she's they're kind of a same demographic. If that's what you're looking for. She also made it further than Jen. And also, I thought even Lexi would have been a better choice. So I don't know if maybe I, I want to know what's going on in the meeting room. Like, did the girls just turn it down? Maybe like Lexi didn't want to do it. Daisy didn't want to do it. Did they ask Maria? Like, did she not want to do it? I don't know. I mean, I think that's where I was going to go. Is I think the problem with this franchise as a whole is production. It doesn't matter who was going to be picked because they're going to that's muzzle true. whoever it is. They can't be themselves. Remember, we were so excited for Katie Thurston to be on and she stunk. Like we were so excited. Like, oh, look at this edgy girl. And she was awful. So like, I know you guys were bummed out. Right. right. It wasn't big. It wouldn't have been good. This show stinks. It's on the same level as Survivor Me. It's a waste of time. It, they don't know what they're doing anymore. They don't know what they're doing, and it's it's a shame. It's a shame because they used to. We this need, is two, two shows we've covered most first on this page, and they are probably my least favorite. We need front office shakeups here, guys. We don't call for people's jobs. We know it's a tough economy, but you need to reassign some roles here. New executive producer, new creative director. Do get some fresh blood in there. Like I just. It's got to change a little bit, but guess what? It's not going to do, Brian. Huh. It's not going to change. Not going to change. It's not going to change because our loving audience, some of you, some of you are dopes. <laughs> not well, like, yeah, yeah. like, not like in general, you are not smart people, but like, you, you don't have to support something if it's not great or as good as it was. And I, I think that's like something where some of our shows, people will watch us sometimes and think we're negative. We are not. We just want them to be even close to as good as when we fell in love with them. And I used to love this show. It is the first show we ever covered on the reality, guys. It was the show when we were only covering one show a week. It was The Bachelor. And like this is where we're at now. Yeah, I, I it's like production. That. It's production, 100%. I would also, in full production, I'd like to go on record and say and make two predictions. One, I think Kelsey and Joey won't break up. And two, Jen and whoever she picks will break up because she's a Miami party girl. Yes, she might be fun, but have, like low-key, she makes a bunch of very sexual innuendo jokes. And she's like, it's shot o'clock. Like, and she's young. Like, and she has daddy issues. I, I think she's going to pick a guy that's not going to be good for her and they're going to break up. So Brett with a long term prediction <laughs> is instant hot. He's into the gambling now, man. He's got to got to put those numbers in. The futures are high. Yeah, we got to set the lines. I mean, obviously, doing, like the, we should yeah. start doing like a, a, a parody thing of we just doing fantasy. Oh, I'm, ke- I'm 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 gonna admit we're, the end of Survivor. We're gonna see all Brett's predictions. We're gonna line those up. It's gonna be a fun episode for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I just think that the show like the success rate stinks. So like I I don't have faith in Joey and uh, and um. Kelsey, I, I don't, and I like I like them, but I don't have any faith in them. Like, Love Is Blind is more successful than the show. And that's sad. That's really sad. I'm gonna tell you this: like, they, I don't see why they. You should have just done another season of freaking Paradise instead of Bat- Bachelorette. This, is, you know what I mean? Like, really, we're getting yeah, Golden yeah. Bachelorette already. Like, hopefully, yeah, so at least some of the cont- like they. The only saving grace is that like we had this season, and then we have a, her season next season, and hopefully they can take some people from those pool and mix it in with the thing and get like Paradise back up with like some fresh blood too. I don't know. So are they skipping Paradise? Like, is that what's yeah, happening? For sure, they got it. How do they have time now? They they said Golden Par- Golden Bachelorette's coming, and then Jen's season's coming, right? So I mean, just even timeline wise, in the year we're in March already. They didn't announce a start date, so without a start date. I'm guessing June. That's my June-ish, maybe because what we're is the next is the next one. So we have three months off. When's Golden I'm, start? They, 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 didn't announce, they oh, this is the first one since like probably like combining all the different iterations that 
probably like last four or five where they we've known the date of the next one and it's always started basically within a few weeks like this one started like three like this was like long it was like four weeks after or something three weeks after the season before ended so i think this could be a good thing though because i think a lot of shows we watch are on overkill challenge this survivor like these people need to take a breather and figure out what the fuck's going on and fix the show a little bit. I could see this being a combo either same night or like one, two, like Monday, Tuesday with, oh. um, uh, oh. what's it called? claim the fame coming back. Oh, don't make me sick. I don't want, I don't want this. No, I'm just, I'm me. just thinking about timeline wise with the show. God, claim no, the fame is usually like a June show. We're in March Ooh. now. Now look, I'm saying all this now, Brian. Like they can literally have a, <laughs> no, a, a a press release tomorrow with the date for the season. You know what I mean? So Jesse did say the word July. So I think a okay. show is coming on in July. And if it's I, my thought when I heard that was if it's Gen season premiering in July, is is how because it's about to be April. So like, have they already started filming or they're going to start, start soon? Week? That's insane. They usually start like basically right after these reunions as they because remember like Joey's season they had the chick who got the letter and the and the advantage and stuff like that so they always usually wait. Um, I also think that makes sense because frankly I think they care way less about like quality casting for the regular Bachelor Bachelorette so it makes sense that they're taking their time to do Golden Bachelorette and really make sure they have the right people. But they made a tease. Is his dad going to go on? Like, be- Joey's dad, I think, is going to be on Gold. Kelsey's Bachelor. dad, you mean? Or Kelsey's, Kelsey's dad, dad, sorry. Kelsey. Guy looks like Thanos. Yeah, dude, he's, he's a handsome dude, man. I, I hope mean, so. That'd be cool. Didn't they want this last time with, um? what was the guy's name? James? Who was the first Bachelor we watched? Uh, yeah, they had his mom. His mom was on, didn't even make it. I mean, this is... They just don't know what they're doing over there, man. I, this Matt is all James. the fact that they have no idea what they're doing. Matt James. Oh, so you're saying that her dad would be a contestant and not the actual bachelor? Because well, I they're think doing Golden pop- Bachelorette, and they said we're seeing you soon. So I think that means that he's going to be a contestant on Golden Bachelorette. So Bachelorette, because he probably they don't they, they haven't announced who the Golden Bachelorette is yet. It's going to be probably it's probably Leslie. I mean, I would think not, I think Leslie setting fantasy odds is, is is definitely up there. So, so if they're in the same age range, possibly. So, yeah. Um, look, Take again, your time. congrats Honestly. to Joey, uh, uh, Joey and Kelsey. Um, uh, you know, look, hope they're together. Hope the the long engagement works out. They're going to be local to us in the area, so it's cool. Um, Brett predicts. Uh, pr- Brett has predicted your downfall, so uh, we're sorry about that. Not third, he's talking not about Jen. He's talking about Jen. Oh, Jen. so you think he's? No, I heard the Jen part. So you think he, they're still together? I That's think Joey and Kelsey are together. Um, you think they're going to get married? Is the question? You know, like yeah, the I big think. apple will swallow them up. You think they're going to make it all the way and get married? I do. I think okay. they're. Gonna work. I don't. I'm going to say no. I'm gonna I'm say no against you, man. I'm gonna say no too. Yeah, I'm gonna say no, and this is not a personal attack. I'm play. I just play the numbers. Numbers, baby, baby. Hey, look, yeah, uh, if with I'm, her guy. Dope. I'm gonna be the one. I'm gonna be the one person on this page. I'm excited for Jen's season, and hopefully that they're drunk all the time. Change the show, guys. Change the I show. I think Jen's season will actually end up being fun though, because she, like I said, is a party girl, and I think they're going to bring fuck I want boys. It to be good. Wait, I'm not going to get left on the negative island here. I know. I'm just joking, man. I'm well, joking. I don't. You no, know, you know I'm going to hate the show. You know I'm the hater, man. I'm the hater on the page. Hater on the page. <laughs> uh, I know my role. I know my role. Yeah. So um, that's it. Another Bachelor Nation season in the books, uh, but. That doesn't mean we are done here on the page. We are covering as much as we can cover. Uh, lots of stuff going on now. Bravo back in full swing. Uh, we are covering Vanderpump. We are covering the Valley. We are covering Summer House. We are covering Martha's Vineyard. Uh, we are covering Below Deck. So lots of Bravo coverage. Uh, Survivor is a show. Happening. Um <laughs> We're up. hoping for an upswing now post uh, the Banu, uh, basically self-eviction. Uh, Amazing Race is back. 
We're really enjoying the first few weeks, Brian, myself. And so uh, we'll be back with week three. Uh, Brett and I had done the first few episodes of Deal or No Deal or No Deal Island. We'll throw some form of reviews up there here or on TikTok to kind of get updated with that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Brian doing Love and Hip Hop, all that. I mean, what else am I missing here? Uh, Jersey Shore. Um, I think Farmer Wants a Wife will maybe be on this week. It's been it's been just the weirdest show right now. Three weeks when since we've seen it. When it's off. I mean, people are watching it in the on the channel. So, like, people are looking for the show. It's, it's just annoying that they keep getting bumped because it's probably the one show that people, our viewers, want to watch. Put it on the air, man. Man. And Ready to Love finale is on Friday. So, I will have my Fridays back after this weekend, and I'm very excited about it. For sure. Look out for some uh, retro reviews. We're going to watch some shows, uh, get them all recorded, and then we'll kind of drop them out for you. So maybe some old VH1 classics. And we will. We've always said we 100% Jersey Shore season one. We're going to do retro reviews of those episodes. So uh, for myself, Brian, Brett, everyone at the reality guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace. <laughs>